Hello guys, today we're going to make a quick video on how to use the free account of GoCharting and then use it to trade on Bybit real fast. So we're going to try and place a few trades both from the chart and from the depth of market and going to kind of focus more on the depth of market. We've already done a previous video which you can see in the description below on Bybit trading and GoCharting and this is a follow-up and this is uh, more focused towards scalping on the DOM. All right, let's get started. So we have a BTC USDT chart here right now on Bybit. And the first thing we need to do to start trading is to connect it to Bybit. So we're going to click the brokers panel, and this is going to give you the kind of the, the, all the brokers and exchanges go charting allows you to connect to. You're going to click on Bybit, and you can see that the broker is already connected. I've already done that before we started recording the session. So now that you are connected to Bybit, so I'm going to open up the DOM and on the depth of market, I can see um, this, for those who do not understand what is the depth of market, there is a separate video in our YouTube channel. You can go over it. But for the purpose of this session, we're going to focus on how to really place the orders fast and quick for scalping. So uh, this is depth of market. You have the bids, asks and the buys and the sells. Uh, it's a simple setup. The upper section of this panel allows you to quickly place your market orders and you can place your limit and uh, stop orders directly from the ladder. All right, so let's get started. So at the first, what we're going to do is go to settings and we're going to make sure that certain important settings are in place. So we go to the trading tab and I'm going to enable this quick trade mode. This will make sure that you don't lose a few seconds confirming your trades, but it is directly uh, placed on the exchange. The default size, I've kept it as 0.01. .01. Normally, uh, when I am uh, scalping, I would like to make sure that I have the default size set. I don't have to go and you know change the order size every uh, time. And, and some of the important parameters like take profit, stop loss, all of this is kind of put in place. So we're going to go over take profit and stop loss in the second uh, half of this video. We're going to first try and place a few simple uh, orders from the DOM. All right. So this is your DOM and I'm going to try and place a simple uh, market order. All right. With the buy and the sell buttons on the top. These buttons allow you to kind of place uh, your market orders quickly. So I'm going to try and buy an order. So once I click on this, as you can see, I can now see the position line on the chart. And I know um, this is your PNL getting calculated in USDT terms. I am good to go now. So uh, that's how you place a buy order. And if I were to close the order, I would just click on the sell button and it should automatically close my position, which it did. Right. So that's the simple market orders being placed directly from the DOM. Now we're going to try and place a few limit orders. So in order to place the limit orders right now, as you can see, the step is uh, uh, one cent uh, on the ladder and I'm going to change it. I'm going to make it like 50 on the step. So it, what it would mean is that every step in the ladder is at a difference of five dollars. So this is using this step. You can actually aggregate the level of your ladder. All right. So now that we have this in place, um, a quick uh, overview of how you place it, uh, your limit and stop orders. So in order to place a limit order, you have to hover your mouse on the bid column, right? And in order to do, and in order to, th that will place a buy order on the limit side. And in order to place a sell order on the limit side, you need to hover on the ask column, all right? So let's try and place a few orders now, okay? So I'm going to place a limit buy order. So I clicked on 28200, 28200, and that's your limit order which got placed. Now, once I've placed the order, you'd probably want to modify it, right? In order to modify it, and you can see that order right now under the buy column because you bought 0 0.01 quantity of USDT, BTC USDT. <laughs> so you can really see that L 0 0.01 written on the buy. So that's your order. If you want to kind of modify this order, you just need to drag this down from here to anywhere you want, right? So I'm going to place it at this level. So once I drag it, right, the order will 
change its price point, right? Now that you know how to modify an order, the next thing you want to do is quickly close or cancel an order. In order to cancel the order, you again, you just have to hover over that order that is currently being placed on the buy side and right click on it. Right clicking on the order on the buy column will cancel your limit order. All right. And as you can see, the order got canceled. So that's how simple it is to uh, place an order, modify an order, or cancel an order, a limit order. This for stops, right, for stop orders, you need to right click. So again, I'm going to go ahead and take my mouse on the, on the, uh, above the LTP, and I'm going to try and place a stop order now. So in order to place a stop order, again, you have to hover over the bid or the ask column, but instead of the normal click, which will place the limit order, you're gonna click right click to place the stop order. So I'm gonna right click at a level 28285, and you can see a sell stop was placed. And you can see the order on the sell column here uh, with a quantity of 0 0.01, which was our default quantity, which we have already set on the settings tab. Again, the same rules will apply. If you want to modify, you can drag it, drop it. And if you want to cancel, again, you will hover over that order on the cell column and right click on it. Right clicking will cancel your stop order. So that's how easy it is to place limit orders, stop orders and market orders directly from the DOM and to modify them as you please. Next up, take profit, stop loss. So in order to place those kind of orders i'm going to go to trading and i'm going to enable the stop loss spread and the take profit spread now when you uh, enable them you get an option to choose the spread in terms of absolute price takes or percent in this case i've put thousand takes uh which i'm assuming means hundred dollars so i'm going to be able to place uh, a take profit and stop loss and a spread of $100. And you can see that in the DOM itself. Let, 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 let me show you how it is done. So let me bring this down from 500,000 to 500. That's your my spread. Now, when you hover over these uh, bid and ask columns, you will not only see the limit order, but on the right-hand side now, you can see the, the, the take profit and the stop loss. So they will move in and will be aligned to your limit order. So they will have a constant spread with respect to your limit order price. And all you have to do to place such a limit order is again, just click on the price level you want and the limit order with take profit and stop loss should get placed on the exchange. Now, as you can see here, I have a limit order of quantity 0.01, a take profit at 21, uh, 28,190, which is at a spread of $50. And again, uh, a take profit uh, and a stop loss again at a spread of $50. And the risk by reward is one. And you can see the potential PNL if these levels were to hit uh, by hovering over this column. So you can see that I'm going to make 0.25 USDT of profit or loss depending on where the price moves. So that's how simple it is to place now a bracket order or a OCO order directly from the DOM. Hope you guys liked this session and uh, uh, let me know what your feedback is on the comment section below. Thank you so much, guys.